Well, I'm absolutely delighted to be signed by AUP. It's something I've been hoping might happen for quite a while. They publish a number of pieces already, and um, I've been so impressed by the professionalism of how the scores look, the distribution, people telling me from all over the world that they're performing a piece of mine. So I'm absolutely delighted to be part of um, the team of composers here, and not least because of all my colleagues, both living and of the past, who have been such fantastic and are fantastic composers and have been under this roof, as it were. So much of my early uh, childhood was um, involved with music at home, music throughout school. But um, up really until my sixth form years, I was going to do astrophysics. I was quite set on this career. And I remember, although I did music as a hobby, this was going to be my focus. But I remember, as it were, hearing the call. And it was, it was the old uh, St Paul's recording of Howell's Colreg today. And I remember at the word comforter, it was this sort of mystical call that almost said, you are going to do cathedral music. This was the point I knew that that was going to be my line of work. For me, I think the most important thing as a composer is finding your voice. I'm not too worried about um, ideas of modernism or what a particular modernist angle might be. But for me, the thing I value most in any composer is a voice which is recognisable. It's similar, I suppose, to your signature recipe is very likely to include ingredients that are very familiar, but there'll be a twist or a particular secret ingredient that you add that people know immediately it can only be one person. And the composers I, I admire most have this quality that within sometimes a single bar you know who that is.